Welcome to Excel Magic Tricks number 981. If you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, uh, what happens if you get a column of numbers that looks like this or a column of numbers that look like this? And you need to get them to actually show up as the number. So this is 123,450,000. Well, it depends. Is it text? or is it an actual number? Now the default alignment in Excel is a great tip off. I can see that these are aligned to the left. That means if it has the default alignment, that's text, and the default alignment for numbers is to the right. Now I can see up here nobody's messed with the uh, uh, settings up here. And when you put it in edit mode, you can see that in fact is text, and this is in fact a number. All right, so how do we get this into a number? Well, we can use a formula. I'm going to use the substitute function. I'm going to give it the text, comma, and I'm going to say the old text, that's the stuff I don't want, that M, comma, the new text, I'm going to put double quote, double quote, that's a null text string that says replace it with, I mean substitute it in, uh, don't put anything there. Get rid of the M, put nothing. Now control enter. Wow, that's pretty cool. Now notice this is aligned to the left. That's because substitute is spits out text, but no problem. Anytime you have number stored as text, any math operation upon it will convert it back to a number. Well, what do I need to do? I need to multiply it times a 1 with 6 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The math operation will convert it back to a number, and the multiplication will get what we want. Now I'm going to apply some number formatting like comma style, right? So there we go. Now what about this? Well, immediately if I see it aligned to the right, I'm thinking custom number format. So control, control 1, and then you can see there's some custom number format. How do you get rid of it? You just apply general. General is the number formatting eraser. Now, sometimes let me. There's a keyboard shortcut for general number format. Uh, applies, yeah. So Control Shift tilde. I'm going to Control Shift tilde here, right? I had some rogue number formatting. Now, what if you actually wanted to show it like that? I'm going to Control One. We're going to go down to Custom. And actually, the trick is you watch your sample up here. Custom, you highlight general. Oh, that's the custom number format for general. Now I'm going to type 0, 0.00. I can see that that shows me the two decimals. Now to hack off three zeros, you type a comma, and look what happens to the sample. Hack off another three, comma. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Now I want the show then an M forward, I'm sorry, backslash is the character that says, I want to insert a character here. So any one character only. So then I put a capital M, and there we go. You could also put the capital M in double quotes. I'm going to click OK, and there we go. We have taken those numbers, and the numbers are still in the cells. This is just number formatting, which is, which is just how we see it on the surface. It's a facade. All right, we'll see you next video.